Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make block or bubble letters. They're basically words that have shape. Block letters have more flat sides. Bubble letters are a little bit rounder. Um, but basically, if you know how to make any letter in the alphabet, which most of you guys watching this video will already know how to do, then you can actually make any block or bubble letter. If you want to look at a letter, letters in the English alphabet, they are made up out of a combination of mostly straight vertical lines, straight horizontal lines, diagonal lines, and there are some curves in there as well, depending upon the way you write your letters. For example, the letter A has a straight diagonal line going down into the left, a straight diagonal line going down into the right, and a horizontal line going across it. To transform this into a block or bubble letter, all I need to do is take my marker and follow the directions of the lines that already exist. So I'm drawing around. I'm start giving some space between my handwritten letter and where I'm starting my block or bubble letter. And I go down to the end, follow the direction of the line, diagonally and down, up, over, across, diagonal and down, and diagonal back up to form the outside of the shape of my block or bubble letter. And since the letter A forms a triangle on the inside, we call that a window, I also draw the window. A way to show you guys how to do that using pencil, or the full, or the full directions on how to do it are all the steps. First, you're going to handwrite your word. Then you're going to go around the direction of each line on each letter to create the shape of each letter in the word. After you have created each letter of the word, you're going to erase your handwritten lines. And finally, you are going to color or draw in or create a design from the word. The word that I've decided that I'm going to use is move. M-O-V-E, move. And for the sake of you all seeing the actual full um, every single step, I'm going to start off with a pencil, and I'm going to write the word M O V E for move. After I have written my word move, I can go back with my pencil and go around each letter, or I can go ahead and skip ahead to a marker. I'm going to grab my black marker and skip ahead so that it's easy for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm following the directions of the lines that are in each letter, going down, around, up, diagonally down, diagonally up, down, around, up, and it's okay if it touches the other letters that are there, around, diagonally down, up, and around. So that's my letter M. I'm going to continue doing that for all the rest of my letters. Go around my O, and if you want your letters to overlap, you can. If you want them separated, I, I would suggest that you space your letters out more. M, O, V, down, up, around, and up, and E, around, cross, up, around, back, and I need to take care of that window that's shaped like a semicircle. After I have taken care of step one and step two, which was to handwrite my letters and then draw the bubble around each letter, I must erase my handwritten letters. So I'm going to erase them so I no longer see them. <laughs> And now I have my handwritten word. What I can do at this point is I can add designs to them. Um, I can either color in my letters completely. I can drop shadows. I can alter the shape of each letter if I continue to use a pencil at this point. I can make them three-dimensional if I want to. Play around with how you would like your word to look. <laughs> Move. It's 
so much faster than using stencils. I'm just going to use some diagonal lines. You could actually color it all the way in. For the sake of keeping this video short, I will not be coloring my word move all the way in. <laughs> And as I said before, this will work with any letter in the alphabet. So that's my word move and block or bubble letters are basically a letter that has a shape. Bye!